This video is provided for informational purposes only. It should not be solely relied upon when installing your Marley NC cooling tower. Always consult with qualified cooling tower installation and safety experts. Your Marley NC cooling tower was likely configured with a ladder for safely accessing the cooling tower's fan deck. This video will cover the assembly and installation of this optional component. First, be aware that the fan deck guardrail on the NC cooling tower is always installed before the ladder. The guardrail's configuration will depend on the ladder location specified for your NC cooling tower. The two most common ladder locations are on the cased face or along the air inlet side. The air inlet side is sometimes referred to as the louver face. For more information on installing the guardrail for a cased face ladder, please watch video 8 in this series, Guardrail for Cased Face Ladders. For more information on installing the guardrail for an air inlet face ladder, please watch video 9 in this series, Guardrail for Air Inlet Face Ladders. Be sure to use nylock nuts for all stainless steel fasteners. Lock washers are only required for galvanized fasteners. On stainless steel towers, hardware that attaches directly to the tower is also stainless steel. All remaining hardware is galvanized. Stainless steel bolts are prone to galling. Generously apply thread lubricant Z21 to the threads of stainless steel bolts before tightening nuts. Be sure to watch episode 3, Necessary Hardware, for more information on procedures to organize hardware prior to installation. First, install vertical posts L38 and L39 as shown. Then, connect lower ladder brace L40 to the side of the cooling tower's collection basin. Modular models NC8410 through NC8414 require a mid-ladder brace L44 attached to the bottom beam of the top module. This brace is important. It prevents the ladder from bowing toward or away from the cooling tower. The mid-ladder brace connects the upper and lower portions of the ladder, as shown here. Using the included M10 nuts, bolts, and washers, bolt the ladder brace, L44, to the top of the module's bottom beam. Next, install ladder section L41 or L42, as shown, depending on the model. Models NC8401 through NC8405 require a ladder splice, L48, to connect the ladder sections together. If your Marley NC cooling tower's ladder is to be located on the air inlet side, follow these installation instructions. First, install vertical posts L38 and L39. Next, connect the lower ladder brace L40 to the collection basin side as shown here. Modular models NC8410 through NC8422 require that a mid-ladder brace be attached to the bottom beam of the top module. Depending on the model, there may be one or two braces required at this level. Refer to the specific instructions included with your tower. Once the posts and braces are in place, install ladder section L41 or L42 as shown, depending on the model. Models NC8401 through NC8405 require a ladder splice, L48, to connect the ladder sections together. OSHA standards require that any tower with a height difference of 20 feet or more between the grade and the fan deck include a ladder safety cage. The safety cage assembly typically ships in three sections. First, identify the three sections and stage them in the correct order. Next, assemble the safety cage at grade with the included hardware kit. After the ladder has been fully attached to the cooling tower, use the included safety cage hardware kit to attach the safety cage to the ladder at the locations on each side of the ladder and cage as shown here and in your installation manual. For more information on installing a Marley NC cooling tower, be sure to watch the rest of the videos in this series.
Thanks for watching.